you know, sometimes you just cannot get yourself to focus. Like you just can't. Maybe you're feeling shut down. Maybe you're feeling extra fidgety. But no matter what, you just cannot get yourself to direct your attention and sustain it. Here's the thing. A lot of the times what's going on is your nervous system is dysregulated. And yes, with ADHD, focus is already a challenge. Directing your focus, your attention, sustaining it, and being able to really get stuff done is hard with ADHD. And when your nervous system is dysregulated, it's going to feel almost impossible to focus like you just can't. Here's why. Your nervous system is primed for survival. There's three parts of the autonomic nervous system that are focused on helping you survive. And sure, these all have other things that they're involved in, kind of all still related to survival. But the thing that we're going to talk about that disrupts focus is when you get triggered into the survival responses. So the three parts of your nervous system are ventral vagal. That's the social engagement system. That's where you feel safe enough to connect, rest, and digest. That's where your immune system is working properly. That's where your digestion works well. That's where you feel safe enough to be in community, in connection with other humans. And when you perceive a threat, when your nervous system perceives a threat, and I use the word perceive very intentionally, because it may or may not actually be something life-threatening. Your nervous system, your brain does not know the difference in that moment between someone's rude comment on social media and a tiger chasing you. All your brain does is perceive threat. And you have just like very tiny little bit of time to be able to go, oh, not a threat, and regulate back to your ventral vagal response, your social engagement response. And when you don't, you go into your fight or flight response. You're flooded with cortisol, adrenaline, noradrenaline, also known as norepinephrine. And all of those chemicals are in the body to help you fight or flee. Now, if it seems like you're not going to be able to get out of the danger, if you're not going to be able to escape and you are in imminent life-threatening danger, your nervous system will shut down. And that's called the dorsal vagal response. And it does that by numbing some of the emotional pain, some of the physical pain, which is a good thing if you're going to be eaten alive by a tiger. But maybe isn't super necessary if you have a hater on social media, because when you're shut down, you can't keep going in your business. I'm almost getting into some RSD, but I'll save that for another time. What I will say is when you are in your fight or flight response or shutdown response, your nervous system's only priority is survival. So that your brain is not going to prioritize focusing on your podcast, your blog, the emails you need to write, the admin work you have to do. The only thing your brain is concerned about, your nervous system is concerned about in that moment is getting you to safety. That's why you feel scattered or completely numb because your nervous system isn't with the program on what's actually going on in the present. And so what do you do? Well, in those moments, the best thing you can do is take a break and regulate your nervous system. And I get it. You're like, I don't have time to take a break. Okay, well, first of all, just even that right there is your fight or flight response. But when you choose to pause and get regulated, then you will actually be able to focus and be more productive, more effective in the work that you attend to do. There's lots and lots of ways to get regulated. I teach a lot of them in my programs, in my one-to-one -one coaching, also with my therapy clients. But here's what I can tell you. Movement with breath is your best chance because it helps for both. So going for a walk, my personal favorite is volcano breathing, which comes from yoga calm. So you place your hands in front of your heart. As you inhale, reach up. As you exhale, reach down around by your sides and back to center and do that at least three times until you feel more regulated. And how will you know when you're regulated? You, you'll know that you're not in your fight 
or flight response when you're not feeling restless on edge, like you got to push or something like that. And you'll know that you're not in your shutdown response. Well, when you're not shut down and having a hard time getting your behind off the sofa. So when you're noticing those things, it's time to regulate. And if you're like, but Jen, my behind's on the sofa and I can't move. In those moments, even visualizing movement or looking outside can be something that will get you started. So if you're having a hard time focusing, the first thing I would check is, are you regulated? Take care.